My name is Anand Narsuman and uh, with me Rahul Shivshankar, our consulting editor and Zaka Jacob who's just going to dash back into the studios any moment now. We'll also go across to our reporters who are joining us bright and early. They are the ones who've gone ahead uh, street by street, district by district across the length and breadth of the four big states. Pallavi Ghosh is with us. We also have uh, Arunima with us, Payal Mehta and Sherin. What is the mood across all the counting centers and more importantly the headquarters? That tends to be an indicative on result day live as to where the, where the wind is blowing. We'll talk about all that. But ladies and gentlemen, focus here. This is the leaderboard and this remains constant right on this battle for the states. Depending upon each state, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, Telangana, as of now, these are the people who are at the helm. But based on how the results are coming across, these colors can change. Madhya Pradesh, it is said that Shivraj Singh Chauhan will retain it. Ashok Gehlot is under the pump and he's already making the kind of noises that come from those who believe that they are done in for as far as the ballot box is concerned, test of the ballot box is concerned. Bhupesh Baghel, quietly confident, but there is a undercurrent within the BJP saying that we could come back as the underdogs and pull it off from somebody who seemed to be, as for the pollsters, coasting to a comfortable victory. And there is trouble for KCR as far as Telangana is concerned. We'll talk about the leaderboard. We'll go across to our reporters. But first, a quick word from Rahul Shivshankar. Hi, good morning, viewers. Good morning to you all. And this is going to be one of those big days, isn't it? Uh, five states. Let's not forget Mizoram. There, the Congress will hope to play kingmaker and the BJP will hope to do better. But let's be very honest. The most important battles will be in the heartland and for Telangana. Remember, the Congress doesn't usually do very well against regional parties. So it's going to be fighting not just a formidable adversary in KCR. I don't share, Anand, with you mm. this sort of, uh, you know, what is gaining ground, this opinion that things are just going to be a cakewalk for the Congress. I think it's going to be a very tough fight there. I just feel, and this is something that you know, my gut is sort of telling me is that it's going to be a very, very tight contest and KCR might actually have the advantage. He might actually come through. His son yesterday tweeted a video of himself shooting an air gun hmm. or something like that saying, hat trick coming. Uh, the Congress hasn't done very well, uh, Zaka, against hmm. uh, regional parties. So this could be a different sort of an election. And also, of course, you have uh, the, four, the three other states, which are very important, the Hindi heartland states. And if the Congress doesn't really make a significant dent there, and they just squeak past in Chhattisgarh, then it's a problem, isn't it, going oh, into it 2024? The, the heartland is very, very important for the Congress because, like I've been saying, those 180 seats, Lok Sabha seats, which the BJP won 167 last time around, that's where the Congress needs to start winning. But this is how the magic wall is looking this morning. It's all empty. It's all grey. But in about an hour's time, this will all start filling up in saffron, in blue, in green, all of these colours. So Madhya Pradesh is the biggest prize, of course, 230 seats. The BJP has been in power there since 2003. So 20-year anti-incumbency. Can the Congress beat that? Rajasthan, again, big state, 200 seats for the last 30 years. It's been alternating between BJP and Congress. Again, it's all empty. It's all grey. From 8 o'clock onwards, you'll start seeing spots of colour here on the Rajasthan map. And then, of course, the big prize, Telangana. Big because it's a southern state. It's a big state. It's a financially important state. Let's face it. I mean, you'll all agree that running elections is not an easy thing. You need lots and lots of resources. So for the Congress, this would be an important state. Also, like Rahul said, I can't remember the last time the Congress beat a regional party in any state, southern, northern, wherever. But Telangana, 119 seats. Can the Congress pull off the BR, uh, a victory from under the jaws of the BRS or will it be a third term for KCR? So these are the three big states that we'll be looking for. And, you know, and of course, there's just uh, uh, Zaka mm. has been based on exit polls. Oh, yeah. And look, their record has been less than, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. It is <laughs> so, patchy at best. It is patchy at best. So I think a lot of things are going to change. And this is not going to be one of those elections that you can call by around 10.30 in the morning. I'll be very yeah. surprised, quite yeah. frankly, because, yeah. you know, there are many rounds and maybe you can just explain to the viewers because a lot of channels begin to sort of calling things at 9, 9.30, 9.15 and they claim they're the fastest, but that's not quite that's true That's not either. true. In fact, by 9.30 or so, in most constituencies, they would have barely finished the first round of counting. 
So uh, I'm saying in an hour plus, uh, you would have just seen the first round of counting, perhaps in some constituencies, two rounds of counting, not more than that. And in an average constituency in a state assembly election, you're looking at at least 20 to 30 rounds, 25 to 30 and, rounds. And you know, so, I don't want to talk about <clears throat> practices and other channels, but usually they go on to what is known as manual mode. You know? <laughs> so what they mean by that is that you keep filling in numbers to get all the viewers hooked. But we all know, and they keep talking about postal mm, ballots as this, Rahul you know. Babu, party postal, badalli, party badalli, 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 But you know, actually, to be honest, I'm not naming people, but I know of people in the industry. I'm, you know, mm. we've been sort of above board here, mm. and we have a direct line, as you were saying, Zaka, yesterday. And maybe you can just talk no, a little bit No, we have the live results hub. We'll, we'll do a exactly. dip into the live results hub yeah. very, very soon. See, yeah. we, we, uh, during the break, ladies and gentlemen, we did a social media pitch, both me and Rahul, and yeah. Zaka had just dashed off somewhere. Mm. And that magic wall looked bereft without him. See, <laughs> they on the magic pen. That's when that magic wall here at CNN News 18 looks complete.